But chat. Hey, before we start, appreciate y'all. Y'all been making streaming so much fun, and um, I had a great doctor's appointment today. So shout out to my team. I know they're gonna be playing in Houston, but uh, I had a great doctor's appointment today, and um, man, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what happens. Also, you know, you guys made it fun for me to be home. I'm not used to doing this and being home all day every day. So really happy to, uh, you know, really happy that I have you guys, you know, who make streaming fun, give me something to do on these days off and stuff. So. Uh, really appreciate y'all. I want to say that. I was thinking about that yesterday. Ants, two plus. As a matter of fact, you know what? Let's start the stream with that. I definitely want to watch that. Minnesota getting mid post. Eric Gordon, clear out. And has two options here. He could go either right or he could go left. I could almost guarantee he's going left. First crack at it. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Edwards, little fade away on. He hitting that for the first shot of the game. It's gonna be a good day. Eric Gordon. When I saw that, when I saw that here, I said, "Wow, he's feeling something today. He's definitely feeling like he got it today." Shengu had a great game against Rudy yes. Gobert early on. So if it ain't broke, you go right back to it. Great call by Finch. I don't know if Finch called it or D'Lo called it or Kyle, but one of them made the right call. Go right back to it. He goes right. They're expecting him to go left. I think he goes left about 90% of the time. So he's he's in a good spot right here for, uh, we call it a 60-40. Uh, so he's 60% committed to his man, 40% committed to the ball, or call it 90-10. You could call it whatever you like to call it. But uh, you always want to stay committed to the corner, especially when Jaden McDaniel is shooting 40% from three. Uh, I think from the corner, he's usually in the last three years, he's been number one or two or three. So, I mean, he's been one of the best at this for a long time since he came in the league. So, you know, you're going to be committed to him. Sagoon's right there. Ant had one, if he had any more space with his left arm, he probably could have dunked it three times on him. But the second half is Ant explodes again. For oh, good layup. Low by this time. Led to what was an impressive. Mm hmm. Hey, so I'm going to break this down a little more so just so you understand. Uh, we are in a 4-1 spread. We're going to get to a pick and roll. They're bluing him. Bluing anytime you hear that if you're young fans watching this. Bluing means that you send them towards the base. You tell them towards the sideline. You want to send them back this way. So uh, they're bluing him. Eric Gordon's in a blue. He's sending him right. I don't even think they're really in a blue. He's in a drop. So I think that more they're just sending D'Lo to his right hand because they don't want him to get to his left. Let's see what was it. Good screen, Nas. Nas, if Nas, you know, he could really bump him. You could give him a a two hand check on the hip. Pressure. Uh, but he's open. Good pass, wide open. I mean, and this happens because Kyle does the strong cut. The cut is what makes it. That cut right here takes him out the play. He's not paying attention, so Impressive. he sees a cut. He sees a wide open. Sees his teammate has his head uh, at the ball, but. Uh, the back of his head is pointed towards his man. He's not paying attention. Oh. That cut makes everything. Nas makes a great read. Gets the ball right here in the window. So this is not a pop. This is not a roll. It's kind of like a soft roll. He's getting in the window for a pass. Back. He gets oh. the ball. Makes the right play. Understands he sees four people on this side. The back end of a back to back. And gets it. Shoots it. Too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next time to three. And that's been kind of the common. Great Me shot. I think they need to build around number 28. The <laughs> Dalen and Porter Jr. franchise players also. Shoot it. As Edwards line. Yeah. Up a three. Ooh. And can't. Good it. shot. The Bulls are down to 32% from the field, but. Good pass. They need, they need to start when you feel it, it when you just when you feel it, you shoot it, boy. Houston's giving you, and they did it in Houston, by the way. Luka when you feel it, you shoot it. Things, just like Nate Knight, Knight does. Good That's move. That's what you want to see. That's called foul trouble. That's usually what happens when you get foul trouble. You, the first thing you do is do that. You put your hands up to show the ref. I didn't do anything. He caused all the contact. Everything. Yes. I mean, it's just a good. I, I feel like he already knew it was in, so he was not even worried about it. <laughs> That's what you want to see. Wolves not as sharp as they need to be defensively. Oh, trust me, trust me, my Elo bad seventy seven. I know. Trust me, I told D'Lo before we was off stream. I said, yo, if we show up, we could be, we'll be fine. But if we kind of think that you know that they're gonna just give us a win, that's not gonna happen. That's not. This is the NBA. There's no teams that are bad. 
I know y'all want to hear all, all ESPN all and be like, oh, they're not a bad team. They're a bad team. They're the bottom of the league. I don't care. They're an NBA team. They're the best players in the world. You know, if you give them a chance and confidence, anyone could do anything. Edwards, oh my! Crazy. On his head. Steal off the inbound. McDaniels the lay in. That should turn the tide of this ball game. Yeah, that now, gets these people out of their seats. Just taking on Alper and Shangoon and stick him in in the hole that time. I told Ant. If he wants to be great, just stop taking so many of the shots. Just go to the basket. They can't guard you. They literally can't guard you going downhill. It's like one of his greatest gifts. Even Michael Jordan wasn't shooting threes. That man was going downhill as much as he could do, and, and he was getting dunks, layups. He was making all these crazy plays. Like, this is what he could do. Just do that all night. Jake McDaniels gets this. Especially when I come back, bro, I'm trailing for three. I'll do it. I'll go to the basket all day. But he got even crazier ability. He could literally, with me trailing in, people are going to be worried about the trail. He could get the ball. He could go downhill. Especially if me and Rudy getting the rebounds, we could, we could just pass it up. He don't even have to wait for nobody. I don't know why he keeps doing that. He always waiting for us to come like down the court, get set up so we could like get our cameras ready to like watch him do it. Just go. Just keep the game simple. Just go downhill. Ball. Rebound. Ooh. Get the ball. Throw it out to Ant. Outlet. Go! Don't fucking wait. Just go. I'm telling you it's going to work. There's no one who could guard him one-on-one. -on -one. Steal. They took a look at what the Toronto Raptors did, who are actually last in Right the there. Game. Pass. That pass is open, but I feel it. He's feeling it. Effective field goal percentage is Anthony Edwards. Great shot. Oh. It's the mid-range to go. What a move. Anthony Edwards taking Kenya Martin Jr. to the hoop that time and Ants had himself a ball game on a night where the Wolves have not been sharp collectively. He has 19. Right. Back at him. Put the pass. Edwards. Yeah. Money. Yeah. Easy, bro. 56. Easy. Once again, the Wolves will have to climb Easy, bro. The right there. Edwards. Take it. Yeah. Hand down, man down, bro. Hand down, fucking man down, bro. Come on. Easy, bro. Bro, Tyus Jones always used to tell me my rookie year, it was like one of the greatest things I was always told. Carl, keep the game simple. I go in there, I go doing all these moves and stuff, and I make it, and it looks pretty. And then all, at the end of the day, it's like, yo, you don't even have to do all that. Simple. Get the ball in the post. Right post, left post, whatever post. Well, let's just talk about the right post. Uh, left shoulders going out the paint. One, two, bully a man, get right to my spot, turn, right hand hook, easy. That's it. I don't got to ha huh, ha huh, move Hakeem Olajuwon shake up under that sh that shit is the same thing as me just taking the easy right hand hook let's go down the court like it's, it's as simple as that and he always used to tell me keep it simple keep it simple that shit looks nice but that's the thing about this generation everyone's so fucking caught up in YouTube and shit just get the points but 40 loud or 40 silent they still 40 at the end of the night you going home with 40 it doesn't it doesn't really matter that one down. This is green. Good steal. Cookies. This is cookie stolen. Ooh. Edwards lost it momentarily. <laughs> it <laughs> Edwards driving. <laughs> oh, that boy head. <laughs> Look at that. He ain't getting that. Man, Michael Jordan jumped. <laughs> Coffee got me going, but god damn! Oh my god! One more time. Let's just talk about how this my man, my man Kai. Look at, look at my man Kai. My man Kai said, "Boy, fuck that! Put that man in the rim." Jeez, This is amazing, Anthony Edwards. If y'all follow me on, uh, if y'all follow me on Instagram, this is a proper reaction right here. This is proper reaction. That you know we got, you know we got our two boys right here hugging each other out. Austin don't know where to look. Our man Scott, shout out Scott, one of our weight uh, weightlifters, uh, weight trainers. Uh, you want to go strength and conditioning coaches? Uh, he's going crazy, Rudy. 
I don't know. Brady looked like he had some chapped lips. He, he didn't want to go crazy. He didn't like the TV catching him looking like that. But this is a proper reaction right here. From a man who doesn't react. <laughs> Literally. This is amazing. Anthony Edwards loaded up and unpacking the TNT. Ooh. Of Albert Shangoon says, take all of this Ooh. leather in your face. Mm. That is so special, <laughs> Michael Brady. <laughs> we just saw mm. the two-handed. First of all, how you let him go left? That's, that's what they need to ask themselves. You let a man who is dominant left go left. And I'm not giving up any of our secrets because, bro, P team's got six, seven coaches. You telling me they don't know he going left? We know he going left. <laughs> Come on. Miss, and then the one-hand package of TNT. Knight gives it over to Russell. Mm -hmm. Edwards. Okay, so the little things. It's about the little things right here. Boom. Play works because Nate Knight's being patient. He scored some points. They're worried about him. They're in a drop. Knight. Good screen. Knight's going. One thing Nate Knight going to do, he's going to fuck somebody up when anytime there's contact available. He's going to hit people. So, boom. Good. He goes over. I, 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 I don't understand this logic of keep going when the man has completely disregarded the screen. But we're going to go. So, I don't know where he's going. Um, get him a map. Uh, the map is not acquired yet. So, now, perfect fake pass this slow small detail is what gets this man the bite gives Ann a little time Jaden mcdaniels does one of the best things is he goes from the corner three to the dunker to open up space fake pass gets him going even though he still is going back to ant it doesn't matter because at the end of the day this fake pass has bought ant a second that's all you need in nba you need a second half a second that changes everything from the ball being blocked at the three-point line to them giving you a high five when the when the shot goes up so he um perfect pass doesn't matter he's not looking at the def he's not looking at ant so that buys him enough time perfect pass perfect pass right pocket and immediately makes a decision quick decision he doesn't waste time he doesn't think about going to the basket he understands his left hand is not an option because he's on the sideline so that's what hurts him the most so now he knows Jaden and them are there. He doesn't want to go back to where the pass was because he's already bought. He's already been bought on the fact that he may shoot it, but he's really worried about his drive. That's why he's not like right here on Ant, like trying to contest and block this shot. He's staying his feet on the floor because he's worried Ant may pump fake go right, and that causes a bunch of problems, which would end up being Ant pump fakes goes right. He gets a step. Either Jalen Green's going to come here, boom, pass to D'Angelo Russell for three, or boom, he's going to get here. Jalen Green's going to stay here trying to stay connected to, to D'Lo because he's going to say, I don't want to be on tape showing I, I gave up a three. So he's going to go here. Two things will happen. One, um, Martin Jr. will come here to stop Ant. Ant will either most likely take a floater or a layup. But if not, he's going to have this bounce pass to Jaden McDaniels. He's going to stay on Nate Knight because Nate Knight has been killing this game so far. So he's been very effective. That effectiveness has makes him not want to commit fully because no one, no NBA player ever wants to show up on tape. That's, that's just the matter of the fact. No NBA player ever wants to show up on tape. So when you go in there with all your teammates and they say, what the fuck was you doing? No one NBA player ever wants to be in that situation. So he's going to stay connected to Nate Knight because Nate Knight's been killing He's going to move over, use his, 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 his athleticism. You know, one thing, when you see people who are super athletic, they, they use their athleticism as, as an as a, as a out, you know? So he's going to come over to try to use his athleticism. Oh, coach, but I could get back, but it's too late. By the time he gets here, Ant's shooting this floater. He's going to shoot this pull-up, as we all know. Or if he makes the super high IQ play, he's going to pass it here. Jaden McDaniel is a pogo stick. He's going to get a bounce pass, catch the ball, immediately go and dunk it in. And instead takes the first route. No quick decision, no hesitation. Three, he's been scoring. Edwards, he feels good. Three. All good. Eight night with 10 points in the quarter. Edwards with 30. I love this, this guard guard pick and roll. I think it's very important. I think it's something we could utilize even more. Um, this is good for people like Ant when you have a person who is. Sometimes it adds too many decisions when you have a drop, you know? It, it, now you're taking, now you feel like you got to take this little in between mid range shot. It's one of the worst shots in basketball, to honestly, it probably is. I think it is actually 
um, the worst shot in basketball. Anything from here to here, you see that like semicircle right here to this three point line? Th that's the worst shot in basketball. The actual worst shot in basketball is when your feet are on the three point line. That is the worst fucking shot you could take in basketball. So anything from here, I would count as like that kind of shot just because it's, 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 you might as well have taken a step back for a three. And if you're not taking the three, then you might as well. Then if you get in this range, it's kind of like a free throw line shot. So I'm a fan of it. I, listen, I, I, was, I played eight years in NBA. I was here when um, Dirk Nowitzki was he's still in NBA. Tim Duncan, that's how old I am. Tim Duncan, Dirk Nowitzki, Brandon Bass. You know, we were talking about these guys who are mid-range legends in my, in my book. And DeMar DeRozan, obviously, is still killing doing it. But I, I like this shot. I know a lot of coaches in the NBA, they don't like it because they really feel like, you know, I'm over here using my finger, but they're over here talking about that. The three balls, the new thing in NBA, the Warriors changed fucking basketball for sure. They did. But points are points in my book. So I feel like if you're going to get here, you know, we're talking about the Mellows, the KGs, the um, Kobe Bryants, the Tracy McGrady's, you know, you're talking about these people who live off of these these shots. These shots made them Hall of Famers. I, I don't. I don't feel we should be taking shots like that out of Ant's game. Um, I. I actually like when um, Jaden McDaniel's. I meant Jaden McDaniel's. Jalen Noel gets very good um, lift in his shot in his mid range. I actually like it for him when he has it going. I just you know obviously in the flow of the offense, uh, um, flow of the offense. He's feeling good. He's hot. He's been shooting well. I'd like you taking that, but I don't. I want it in the flow of the offense because I just don't want to live off of it. You know, I think that's sometimes when people get lost and they live off the mid range when the game has changed. You know, you can shake mid ranges all day, and these people hit. You know, think about it. You take three mid ranges and make them, and you take two threes and make them. We have the same amount of points. So, and also threes change the game a little bit because the threes. Um, Spreads the defense out, makes them have to come more out to the three point line, opens up more lanes for the for drivers like Anthony Edwards, um, me. You know, it gives more options. But I I think that Ant right here with these guard guard switches, it makes them have to play up. What's great about that? I don't think anyone really has. Not many people in, in the NBA, unless and especially in a whole game, are going to stay with Ant one on one this high up close. I I just don't think it's possible. So. I like the guard guard switches because it takes this decision that Ant has to make out with either I take this shot or do I go to the basket or do I get here? And then, you know, now I'm trying to make a decision. You know, he, he, it's easy. Guard guard switch. Guards hate this. They never communicate. Boom. He pop. He comes up to guard Ant on a gets tight. But it, it, you can't do it because now you've given Ant the middle of the floor. You've given him the ability to go all the way right, all the way back left if he really wanted to. Or um, the best thing to do is that he gets to go all the way out here, stretches the defense out. We got a, we got a score right here. We got a big who can score. Jade McDaniels will come up. We also have Austin Rivers who's going to probably pop out here on on a, on a slip. So if he goes all the way out here, we just now set up an offense to be a very stretched out um, defense. Now Ant's throwing the ball from this target center right here to here. There's a bunch of space for a pick and roll to happen, a pick and slip, one-on-one um, -on -one action, breakdown here, gets to the paint, affects the game. So I, I like these guarded guard screens. I, I really do. I like these guard guard screens, uh, pick and rolls, pick and slips, pick and pops, um, pick half slip. That's what a lot of times you see Kyle Anderson. Like I say, it's the window, get in the window. So uh, I like these. I really like these a lot for us. I like it for Ant. Um, I've been telling Ant something different when I come back. Uh, before I got hurt, I told Ant I think he could get 30 a night if he would just hear me out on some of these things. And he listens. It's just as hard in the, in the middle of the game. So much is going on. Um, I think there's a lot of more ways I could get him a lot more points. And it could help us win more games. And that's all it's about. Two for the game. Ten on the shot. See, that's when he just said, fuck it. I don't give a fuck. I'm shooting the ball. <laughs> <laughs> this one's deep. I gave you all that for him to just say, fuck that. I'm going to shoot this long three real quick. <laughs> Got to love it. When you're good, you're good. He's going left. He's going left. I'm trying to tell you he's going left. He's going left. He's going left. Swallowed up tonight. Good pass. And larceny from Anderson. Russell left it for
<laughs> Mexican Mamba, uh, leading scorer. You know, that's what I do. <laughs> Come on. That play was probably the GG's. That play was probably the GG's. That's some serious elevation. So Shin Goon has 19 and 16 this season. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. From a diner. I taught him that. <laughs> that was good. But yeah, I think that's the thing with. The best offensive rebounder in the game has hurt the Knicks in that department. Moran foul that one. You get in that paint, bro. Anytime in the NBA you can get in the paint, bro, it causes problems. Always gonna cause problems when you get in the paint. That's why you literally you do drills for hours trying to say about don't let them touch the paint. So, and uh, Ant, is Anthony? Un, uh, you think Ant underrated? I think he has so much more to to give. You know, I think he has a lot more. We could we a lot more uh, basketball game we could tap into, and it all comes with us doing our job too. You know, the vets, coaches, we got we got to give them even more um, opportunities. Dance. Hey, uh, hey, little mama, yeah, you heard about me. I'm a puppy like a pea, yeah, at a mommy. Yeah, feel so hot like I'm chilling on the beach. Yeah, baby in the sun like the Teletubbies.